Now to a story you saw first on click2houston.com. A local teacher is accused of putting her son in the trunk of her car while she got tested for COVID. According to the district attorney's office, she said he tested positive and she was trying to isolate him. And now we're learning that that woman is a teacher at a local school district. Our Bill Barajas is live now in Northwest Harris County with the latest. Bill? Well, Cypher ISD tells us she is a 41-year-old Sarah Beam, a Cypress Falls High School teacher. According to court uh, records, that teacher went to Pridgen Stadium's testing site on Monday with her son in the trunk of her car because he had tested positive for COVID and she did not want to be exposed. So she has been now charged with endangering a child. We came to her house to ask her about that. We were greeted at the front door by an unidentified woman. The conversation ending just after a few seconds. Yeah, she's not home right now. Okay. I don't know how I can get a hold of her? No, I do not. I'm okay. sorry. Thank you. Cypher ISD police showed up just a few moments later. We were the only TV station there as they tried to make an arrest. They too were told no one was home though. A classroom feels to me like it should be an extension of my home. Beam seen in this Cypress Fairbanks ISD YouTube video is a high school English teacher, according to the district, and has been with them since 2011. Court records say the 41 year old pulled into a Northwest Harris County drive through testing site on Monday. Court documents go on to say a witness told police she was gathering information from drivers in line waiting to be tested when she came in contact with Beam, who, quote, confirmed that her son, who had tested positive for COVID, was in the trunk of her car. According to authorities, Beam told the witness the 13 year old was put there to prevent her from being exposed to COVID while driving. Court records say the witness requested to see the teen. Beam unlatched a trunk and the child was found lying down. Moments later, that same witness called police. And in a statement, Cypher ISD said, quote, law enforcement conducted a full investigation resulting in a warrant for her arrest. Thankfully, the child was not harmed. They added that they have placed Beam on administrative leave. As of right now, no word yet on whether she is in custody or not. We'll keep checking and keep you posted. Live in Jersey Village, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News.